Now, welcome back to the stage, Stacey Ann Chin. as a young lesbian, you know, a hundred years ago, um, I was, it was radical to be young, black, and a dyke, and who, you know, knew, you know, you wanted to, like, live in resistance, and it was sexy, and women weren't shaving, and we were, like, saying, fuck you to the government, and, you know, it was, it was sexy. And these days, you know, it's becoming more sexy to be in the middle you know, to kind of, you know, shave your armpits a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, say, I'm a dyke, but I kind of look like a straight girl, and that's, you know. So, um, you know, this is a letter that I kind of wrote, which kind of began with the, the gay community, and, and, and then it talks about some of the stuff that's happening. Being queer has no bearing on race, my white publicist said. <laughs> True love is never affected by color. I curb the flashes of me crashing across the table to knock his blonde skin from Manhattan to Montego Bay to bear witness to the bloody beatings of brown boys accused of the homosexual crime of buggery. Amidst the newfangled fads and fallacies, the new age claims that Sexual, racial, and economic freedom has finally come for all. These underinformed, self-congratulating, pseudo-intellectual utterances reflect how apolitical the left has become. It is now commonplace to hear young activists say, I can't explain why, but the term lesbian just comes across as confrontational. Why can't you just say you date people? <laughs> Tongue and courage tied with fear. I am at once livid, ashamed, and paralyzed by the neoconservatism breeding malicious amongst us. Gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, ally, questioning, two-spirit, non-gender conforming. Every year we add a fucking letter. <laughs> Yet every day I become more and more afraid to say black or lesbian, or woman. Every day, under the pretense of unity, I swallow something, something I should have said about the epidemic of AIDS in Africa, or the violence against teenage girls in East New York, or the mortality rate of young boys on the south side of Chicago. Even in friendly conversation, I have to rein in that bell hooksian urge to kill motherfuckers who say stupid shit to me all day. Bitter branches of things I cannot say out loud sprout deviant from my neck. Fuck you, you fucking racist, sexist turd. Fuck you for crying about homophobia while you exploit the desperation of undocumented immigrants to clean your hallways, bathe your children, cook your dinner for less than you and I spend on a tax deductible lunch. I want to scream out loud. All oppression is connected, you dick! At the heart of every radical action in history stood the dykes who were feminists the anti-racists who were gay rights activists, the men who, be, who believed being vulnerable could only make them stronger. As the violence against us increases, where are the LGBT centers in those neighborhoods where assaults occur most frequently? As the tide of the Supreme Court changes, where are the marches to support a woman's right to an abortion? And what are we doing about health insurance for those who cannot afford it? HIV AIDS was once a reason for gay white men to act up. Now, your indifference spells the death of straight black women and imprisoned Latino boys. Apparently, if the tragedy does not immediately impact you, you don't give a fuck. A revolution once pregnant with expectation flounders. Apathetic and individualistic, no one knows where to vote or what to vote for anymore. The faces that now represent us have begun to look like the ones who used to burn crosses and beat bull daggers and fuck faggots of the ass with loaded guns. The companies that sponsor our events do not honor the way we live or love or dance or pray. Progressive politicians still dance around the issue of gay parenting and the term marriage is still reserved for those unions sanctioned by a church-controlled state. For all the landmarks we celebrate, 
We are still niggas and faggots and minstrel references for jokes created on the funny pages of a white heterosexual world. The current LGBT manifesto, the current left manifesto is a corporate agenda and outside of that agenda a young boy dressed in drag is sucking an adult dick for his dinner a woman is beaten every 12 seconds every two minutes a girl is raped somewhere in america and while we stand here well dressed and rejoicing in india in china in south america a small child cuts the cloth to construct you that new shirt, that new shoe, an old imperialism held upright by the misuse of impoverished lives. Gather round ye fags, dykes, trannies, and all those who are committed to radical social change. We are not simply at a crossroads. We are buried knee deep in the quagmire of a battle for our very humanity. The powers that have always been have already come for the Jew, the communist, the trade unionist, and the terrorist. The time to act is now. Now, while there are still ways that we can fight. Now, because the rights we have left are still so very few. Now, because it is the right thing to do. Now, before we open that door to find that they have finally come for you.